For decades, we've scanned the stars, searching, listening, waiting. But what if the real answer isn't out there? It's been here all along. I tend to restrict myself to the galaxy. Right. So I do mm. think it's possible that at the moment there's one civilization in the Milky Way. And I think that's important, actually. And it goes back to what I was saying at the start about the uh, astronomy and cosmology being part of the framework within which you have to think. If you're looking for meaning or you're looking for how we should behave even politically, you know, the, that has a bearing to me. I mean, imagine that we're the only place where there is intelligence in this galaxy. And how should we behave? Right. Should we actually, notwithstanding the fact that we're tiny and fragile things and insignificant physically, should we consider ourselves extremely valuable? There's a theory called the Grand Tack Theory, which is so it's very hard to explain the evolution of our solar system. So the, when you do computer models of solar systems, you don't tend to get four rocky planets to close to the sun and four big gas giants further out. I say this because it shows you how lucky we might be. They tend to form these big gas giants and migrate inwards towards the star. So in almost all the computer simulations, just because you've got this big gas giant orbiting in all the dust around the star, they tend to drop inwards. And it looks like Jupiter did that. So it looks like it formed and came in and came in almost to where Mars orbits today and, and cleared out the region around Mars, actually, which is maybe the reason Mars is so small compared to the other, to, to Venus and Earth.